Okay, y'all. So to get started on our Craftology January box from Country Craft Creations, this is the six by six um, set here. So you, what you're gonna get is two pieces of six by six, one piece of three by six, and two pieces of one by six. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and I'm using cream colored cardstock here. And so I have two pieces of eight and a half by 11. Okay, I've added score tape to one piece of mine, one side. So I'm just gonna peel the backing off. Now I'm gonna get my scoreboard. All right, and I'm gonna use my scoreboard just to line up my cardstock here. So I'm gonna take the piece that I had the tape on and I'm gonna line it up at the six and a quarter. All right, that way I know this piece right here needs to go to the six. And all I'm doing is butting it up against the top here. All right, so I'm just going to take it to the six. When you have it where you want it, just drop it, press it down. All right, and I've lost my bone folder. All right, so I'm just going to take this bone folder here, and I'm just going to press it down. All right, and whenever you use your scoreboard, that's just going to give you a straight edge here at the top. Okay, so now I'm going to take my chipboard pieces here, and I'm going to start on the right-hand side. Okay, I'm going to take a piece that is six by six, and I'm going to leave about an inch, maybe a little over an inch here on the side. And move this up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to take a six by six, a one by six, another six by six, Alright, another one by six, and then my three by six. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. Okay, and my spacing in between here, I have about an eight to a quarter of an inch spacing. Um, give or take a little, you know, I don't really measure it, I, but, you know, I just kind of lay it out. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, you're going to have a six by six, one by six, six by six, one by six, three by six. Alright, so I'm going to glue this down, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my chipboard adhered to my cardstock, all right, I want to show you something. Okay, here I have, it's not even an inch spacing here, all right, but over here I have about three and a quarter space over here. So I'm just going to cut this off, and I'm just going to take my cutter here, and it does not have to be perfect. Well, I'm going to say it doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, it doesn't have to be the same amount of space on each side you know you kind of want it to be pretty close but it does not have to be exact all right like this one okay see now i have an inch over here all right and now this side over here is less than an inch so that's no big deal um that's not going to bother me all right so now i have pretty much about the same amount of spacing all the way around so what i'm going to do now is now i'm just going to take my stylus i'm just going to run along the edge here of my chipboard and cardstock and basically all I'm doing is I'm just tracing around this chipboard because whenever I fold up my cardstock it'll fold easier whenever I um, go to wrap my album here all right and I'm not going in between here I'm only outlining around the edges all right so now I'm just gonna take and just press this and just you know just go ahead and Press it like you're about to wrap it. Just to kind of get it going here. Alright, now. I'm just going to fold this down. And just work that cardstock over top of that chipboard. I'm going to turn it around do the same thing. Okay, so now this is what you have. Alright, now I want to go back and I want to cut off my squares here on the corners. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors. And I'm using cutter bee scissors. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm just gonna go and trim off these little corners here. Okay, and when you do this part, make sure that you don't go all the way to the chipboard. All right, see here? I didn't go all the way to the chipboard. And the reason why you don't wanna go all the way to the chipboard is because whenever you wrap your album, you don't want to see that cardstock or that chipboard on the edge there. Okay, so make sure that you leave a little 
extra. And if you do, you know, accidentally mess up and cut them off, it's no big deal. They make little um, metal book corners. I think that's what you call them. I'm not 100% sure. That's what I call them. And you can always use those. All right. So now that I have all four of my corners cut, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add score tape. Okay. And whenever I add my score tape, I like to go on each piece and go all the way around on each piece. And then I like to go around the edges of my cardstock. All right. So I'm going to add my score tape. I'm going to go ahead and peel the backing off and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have all of my score tape taken off, now what I want to do is I want to wrap it. So I'm just going to take my art glitter glue here, go along the edges, and all in the center. Alright, and then I'm just going to take it, I'm going to fold it up. I'm going to take my bone folder and just run it across here. Alright, then I'm just going to spread out my fingers. Okay, I'm going to lay this down. Okay, and I'm going to take my bone folder, press that down, I'm going to turn it around, do the same thing on this side. I'm going to take my glue, run it right on top of that chipboard, on that score, on that uh, cardstock. Alright, run that glue all in the middle. Again, I'm going to take my bone folder and press this together. And all I'm doing y'all is pressing that car stock up against that chipboard. Okay, I'm gonna spread out my fingers, pull it down. Okay, take my bone folder, press it down. Alright, now I'm gonna take the tip of my bone folder here, or you can use the tip of your thumb, or you know, whatever you have, and I'm just gonna pull that paper in. Alright, here I'm just gonna pull that paper up. Alright, and what that does. <clears throat> it's going to give you a nice clean edge and y'all sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I'm not going to lie you know sometimes it'll cooperate with me and my edges will be nice and clean and then sometimes you know like I said it doesn't work very well alright I'm going to take that glue run along the edge and all in the center take my bone folder press that glue up against that chipboard press it down all right now I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna do the same thing here take my glue okay press it up against there lay it down flat burnish it down okay and you see here you know my edge looks it looks all right I'm not gonna brag too much because it could be better but you know I'm trying to hurry here all right so now what I'm gonna do is I've taken a piece or all right so now that I have my outside wrap now I need to get a piece for the inside okay so now that the album has been wrapped on the outside all right now we need to cover the inside so the inside is you're gonna need a piece that is five and a quarter by five and a half all right, I've already added my quarter inch score tape to my five and a half inch side. Okay, your five and a quarter is at the top, five and a half is on the side. All right, then you need a piece that is five and a half by 11. Okay, so I'm just going to add these two pieces together and I'm going to use my scoreboard to line them up. And I'm using my score pal um, this time because I actually washed my Martha Stewart one and it's drying. So I'm just going to use this one. All right, so I'm taking my score tape off and I'm just going to line this up and I'm just going to take it right here to the five and a quarter. That way, you know, I can kind of butt it up all the way against the side here as well. All right, so now I'm just going to take this one. Since this is at five and a quarter, I know I want this one to go to five because my score tape is quarter inch. All right, so again, I just have it butted up against the top. All right, I'm going to the five. I'm going to let it go. Lay it down, press and burnish. Okay, and again, that's going to just give us a nice clean edge there. All right, now I'm going to take my, and I'm going to use my ATG runner here, and I'm just going to go along the edge, 
try to get it close to the edge as you can sometimes you know it doesn't really want to go all the way to the edge and that's no big deal because we're also going to add glue okay we can make sure that glue goes all the way to the edge okay and now i'm also going to add just some extra tape everywhere all right i like to add all of the extra tape to make sure that it's going to stick down and i won't have any bubbles or cracks or anything okay so now i have my tape on there all right i'm also going to add my glue so i'm just going to take my art glitter glue here okay and i'm just going to add glue everywhere all over this right along the edges and then all in the middle all right if you want to y'all you can fast forward this part because this is all i'm going to do right now just add glue everywhere okay I'm also going to add some extra glue on my book here. Alright, so I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to add glue, extra glue right here to this chipboard piece and along the edge here, or not the edge, but well, I guess it's the edge in the center. And I see I'm shaking my camera, y'all. I apologize. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my piece here. I'm gonna flip it over so you can't see the writing. All right, now I'm just gonna eyeball it. And let's see here, let me, I need to make sure that my seam is not going to go on the seam whenever I fold it down. So here we go. All right, so now I just need to eyeball it. You can measure if you want to. All right. I'm trying to get it where I have about the same amount of space all the way around. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take my little um, thing here. My scraper. Because somehow or another I have lost my roller. Alright, so I'm just going to press that down really, really well. Alright, now I'm also going to take my bone folder. I'm gonna burnish it down really really well over those seams okay now I'm gonna start here on the left hand side I like to start on my left if you're right-handed you just start on your right okay so I'm gonna take it put my fingers underneath here see all I'm doing is just taking my hand underneath all right I'm gonna burnish and bend little by little all right find that crease you just work that crease and bend. Okay. I'm going to move down. Find that crease and bend. Okay. Again, find that crease and bend it. Alright, but you want to make sure now you don't go hog wild and start bending really quick. Now bend it slowly. Okay. Now, this is what you have. All right, and you can make it, you know, if you want. Now, I'm going to make mine a little different. All right, I'm going to make mine like this, where this flap is going to be at the top, because I'm making mine as like a little purse. This is going to be my on-the-go album, is what I'm calling this. Okay, so, you know, in other videos for the Craftology, you may see it on the right-hand side, and it opens up like this. You may see it on the left hand side and it opens up like this all right i'm making mine where it's going to open at the top okay so it's going to open like this okay now i'm going to be working on this little um one by six spine piece here okay so we have like this section here all right we're working right here all right so this is the bottom of ours and what you're going to need is a piece that is five and three quarters by eleven you're going to score at five and a quarter and at five and three quarters. All right, so you're just going to fold and burnish both of those score lines. All 
right and if you want to you can use a rounder or okay I'm not going to use a rounder all right so now that we have it burnished now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add glue here okay if you want to you can add score tape and glue I'm just going to use this glue here all right art glitter glue is pretty strong but I am gonna add you know a good amount here okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my album sideways so I can see what I'm doing all right so remember we're working here on this spine all right you leave this section here alone because this is the top okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this in the center and if you want to y'all you can measure it again I like to eyeball mine but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up Okay, I'm going to lay this side down first. Alright, when you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay, and what I did, y'all, how I measured this, you see I didn't measure anything, but what I did was I just kind of eyeballed it to make sure that I have about the same amount of space here at the top and here at the bottom. Okay, it may not be 100% perfect, and that's no big deal to me. You know, I don't mind it if it's not 100%. All right, so now this is what we have. All right, so now we have our little flaps here, okay? Now I'm gonna turn my album this way because this is my top, okay? Remember this section here, this is our top. All right, but look, this is how it's gonna be, see? Okay, so now I'm gonna add pockets to this side, the back side, this side, and the back side. All right, so what you're gonna need, oh, I'm gonna add flaps first to the top. Okay, you're going to need four pieces that are five and a half by five and three quarters. On your five and a half inch side, you're going to score it a half, fold down and burnish. All right, and I did use my corner chopper, and I'm using the scallop side here, and this is We Are Memory Keepers. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these little corners here off. All right, so now this is what you have. Okay, I'm going to take my album. And again, all right, my flap here, I'm just going to add it right here to the top. So I'm just going to take my art glitter glue, add right on that little half inch flap. Okay, now I'm just going to take it, add it right here on top of this flap. All right, so this is our first flap, this is our second flap. Okay, so I'm just going to add it right here. All right, you want to make sure everything is lined up nice and neat and straight. All right, when you have it where you want it, burnish it down. Open it up, burnish it down. Okay, so now we have our first flap on. All right, now I'm going to flip it down. Now I don't want my flap here on this side. I want it up here at the top. All right, so I'm just going to add my glue to my little half inch piece here. All right. And now this time, I'm going to make sure I don't go over this score line here. All right. See this score line here? Make sure you don't go over that. Okay, so I'm going to go pretty close. But again, I'm not going over it. All right. Line it up. When you have it where you want it, press it down. Okay. Now, I'm going to take another one. Add my glue to this little half inch piece here. All right, and now this flap, I need to add it to the top here. Okay, so same as before, same as we did on that first flap. Okay, I'm going all the way to the top. I'm gonna make sure I have it lined up. Press it down. If you have glue come out, go ahead and wipe it off. All right, now I'm gonna burnish. Open it up, burnish it down. Let me open this one up make sure there's no glue there. Okay, now I'm going to flip it down. And again, we're going to add it right here. But you want to make sure you don't go over this little score line. Now this one you can go, you know, all the way to the edge there. Yep, I'm trying to make sure I have everything right. Alright. Actually... I was supposed to put this one on that side, but that's no big deal. What I'm going to do, this one will have two flaps. 
all right so we're just going to go ahead and do it just like we had it all right so i'm going to go right here i'm going to add this one pretty close to the edge there all right press down and burnish okay so now what you have right we're going to open like this okay then you're going to have a flap up mm, let's see here all right so now this is what you have all right but we're going to add another flap because i want to flap here and here as well okay so i need to cut two more flaps because I did put these on wrong, okay? So, if you don't want two flaps here, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you put your flaps on at the top here of each one, okay? But that's no big deal, cause that can be fixed. All right, so I'm gonna cut two more pieces that are five and a half by five and three quarters, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I cut two more out, all right, you're gonna need six instead of four. I think I just broke my pen. All right, but you're gonna need six of these that are five and a half by five and three quarters. Okay, so we've already added these flaps on. Okay, so I need to add another flap here because I want my top flap to be on top. Like I want this flap on both sides on top, but I messed up and put it on the bottom there. So that's no big deal, you see it's fixable. All right, so I just take another flap, add my glue. Okay, now I'm just gonna go right here on this side. Okay, so I'm just going to take it all the way to the edge. All right, making sure it's straight. When I have it where I want it. All right, I'm gonna press it down and burnish. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Make sure no glue's coming out, burnish it down. All right, see now that way, I'm gonna have my flaps will be at the top. All right, they're gonna look like this. Okay, so I need to do the same thing on this side because this flap is going down, so I need one to go on top. Alright, so I just take my little flap, add my glue to my half inch piece here. Alright, I'm going right here to the top. Alright, all the way to the top. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, burnish it down. Okay, open it up, make sure there's no extra glue coming out, and there we go. See, perfect fix, and I actually like it this way. All right, so still, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, before I forget, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and punch my holes up here at the top. Um, I know that I'm going to punch them again once I put my paper on, or here. Instead of punching them, I'm just going to put me a little X here, because I don't want to forget to add my little handle. Okay, so... I just added little X's here so I know to punch my holes there. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. Now I need to add pockets, okay? You're going to need four pieces that are five by six and three quarters. All right, on your six and three quarter side, you're gonna score to half, rotate, score to half, rotate, score to half. All right, we're gonna take our little scissors just gonna notch out these little edges here. Okay, so I have notched those out. Now this is what you have. All right, we're just gonna take it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fold and burnish each of my score lines here. All right, but you see here, I've already punched out three of them. So I need to go ahead and punch this one out as well. And the punch that I'm using is by EK Tools, EK Success, and this is just a scallop punch. Okay, so I'm just going to take it, and I just like to eyeball mine. Just put it in, punch it out. If I shake the camera, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to shake it. All right. And then once you have these punched out, we're just going to tack down our corners. Oh gosh. 
Somehow I cut that whole thing off. Look at there. Let me try and see if I can fix it. If I can, I'll have to cut another piece. I'm not sure what happened there. There we go. It fixed. Ta-da! <laughs> Alright. So now, I'm going to fold down my little flaps here and tack down these, this bottom piece. Okay, so I just added glue. And then I just like to take my bone folder. Just run it back around there. Alright, so I have four of these pockets. Okay, I'm going to take my book here. Alright, I'm going to lift up this flap. I'm going to add this pocket right here to the bottom. Alright, so I'm just going to add glue right here on top of the pocket, on top of these half inch flaps here. All three sides. Your two sides and your bottom. All right, now I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom here. All right, making sure I have everything lined up. When you have it where you want it, press it down. Take your bone folder, burnish it down. Okay, now I'm just going to close that down. All right, now I'm going to pay attention this time. All right, I'm going to turn my book sideways so I can see, you know, a little sideways here. Alright, but now I need this pocket to be here, closer to the album. Alright, you don't want it on the top flap. We want it down here on the bottom flap. And I hope that's making sense. Alright, so again, I'm just going to add my glue to these little half inch pieces here. All right, and I'm going down here to the flap that's on the left. Okay, if you have your album opened up, it's going to be the flap on the left. Okay, and I'm not going to go over that score line there. Okay, so make sure you don't go over that score line. Before you press it down, make sure it'll close. Okay, all right, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay. I'm just going to close that up. I'm going to open up this flap and I'm going to add a pocket here to the bottom. And I apologize for my dogs barking outside, y'all. Alright. I'm going to take this one and again, I'm not going to that score line. Alright, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay, now I'm going to close this flap, flip it over. Alright, now I have my flap to the right, flap to the left. We're going to put that pocket here on the left hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to take and add my glue to the little half inch pieces. Again, I'm going to take it here to the left hand side, making sure that you don't go all the way to the uh, fold line there. Alright, make sure it'll close. When you have it where you want it, press it down really well and burnish. Okay. Alrighty. So now this is what we have. Okay, now I'm going to add more pockets. Okay, I need two pieces that are two and a half by six and three quarters. All right, I only need two of these. Okay, on your six and three quarter side, you're going to score it a half, rotate around, score it a half. All right, I've already punched this one out, so I'm going to fold down and burnish on both sides here. Okay, now I'm just going to take my album, I'm going to open up this first flap. And I'm going to glue this little pocket right on top of this one. Okay, so I'm going to add my glue to my little half inch pieces. As well as on the bottom. Okay, so just take you some glue and add it right here on the bottom. Alright, now I'm going right here to the bottom of this pocket. Okay, making 
making sure everything is lined up. All right, when you have it where you want it, press it down and burnish. Okay, I'm gonna close that up, flip it over. Now I'm going to my next little section here, okay? I'm not gonna put the same size pocket on this first section here on the back side I only want it on the front side all right so I'm gonna take my second page here flip this pocket this flap open all right I'm gonna take it go down and burnish these little score lines all right I need to punch it out all right, so I'm just gonna open up those little flaps there and again if the camera's moving I'm sorry I'm trying to make it not move, but sometimes it just moves anyway. Alrighty. Now, alright, I'm just going to fold these little flaps back in, burnish them down, add my glue to my little half inch pieces here. Alright, as well as on the bottom. Alright, y'all, again, I apologize for my dogs. There's something outside the... I did hear a car spinning wheels. Alright, I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to the bottom of this pocket here. Okay? And again, I don't want to go completely all the way to the bottom. Just a hair above it. Above the bottom there. Only because I want this to close really well. All right, when you have it where you want it, burnish it down. Okay, close that flap. Now, all right, I want a pocket where I added these two flaps, and then this pocket here, I want to add another pocket here. Okay, so these pockets are going to be three by six and three quarters. All right, on your six and three quarter side, you're going to score it a half, rotate around, score it a half. All right, I've already punched this one. And if you want to, y'all, you can make them all the same size. I just wanted to have, you know, a little variety. All right, so I'm just going to add my glue to my little half-inch pieces. Okay. Then I'm going to add my glue right here to the bottom. All right, and I'm going right on top of this pocket here. All right, see my pocket? I'm going right on top of this one. All right. And again, I don't want it all the way on the bottom. Just a hair above it. Okay. Now, burnish it down. All right, I'm just going to close these flaps. Flip this over. Open my right and left flap. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. I need to punch it out. But y'all see how cute, easy, and simple this little album is? It wouldn't take any time at all. You know, go ahead and cut your pieces. Um, I will have everything, all of the measurements, in the description bar below. So, you know, go ahead and cut everything. And then you'll have it all set and ready to go. Alright. Now, okay, I'm going to fold down and burnish my little half inch pieces here. All right, I'm going to add my glue to the half inch pieces as well as at the bottom. Okay, so right here along the bottom. All right, now I'm going to glue it right on top of this pocket. All right. I'm going to line it up. Make sure everything is lined up. When you have it where you want it, press and burnish. There we go. This is our little album. All right. 
and I didn't add anything on this side and this side because I thought it would be cute. Um, I'm going to use like the embellishments, the um, ephemera pack here. I'm going to use, you know, a couple of these and put on there. And two, you know, if you want to add a photo there, that's perfectly fine. All right, so now this is what we have. Okay. Ta-da, super, super cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and punch out my holes up here. Well, again, I'm not going to punch them out. i got to add my design paper. But if you're going to add a handle here, make sure that you punch out your holes um, after you add your design paper. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my design paper, and I'm going to show you how I cut mine. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now, I've went ahead and I've added my design paper, you know, pretty much all the way around here, as well as on the inside. All right, but I got to tell you, I forgot to add my magnet. Dumb old me. But it's fixable. Everything is fixable. All right, so I'm going to place one of my magnets on this side before I add my design paper on this top flap here. All right, so I'm just going to peel the backing off. Okay, I'm just going to place my magnet down. I'm going to try to get it in the center. And again, if you want to, you can measure it. Let's see here. All right, so right there looks good. All right, now I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to go ahead and add my glue to my paper. All right, and I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to fix this magnet here. All right, so I'm just going to take my design paper. Place right on top. Alright, I'm going to have it where I want it. I'm going to press it down really, really well. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can add a closed pin right here, you know, to help hold that design paper sealed. But I think it'll be okay. Now I'm just going to let my magnet find it. I'm going to take some score tape. Alright, I'm just going to add a piece of score tape here. Somehow or another is cut up. Alright, I'm just going to add just a smaller piece here. Peel the backing off. Alright, now I'm just going to hold this up. I'm going to stand it up here so I can see it. Alright, I'm going to have it where I want it. I'm just going to press it together. Alright, open it up. and Now my magnet is closed here. Alright, and the way that I'm going to fix this, y'all, I just took one of the little embellishment pieces, one of the ephemera pieces here. I backed it on some cardstock, and I'm going to glue it right on top of there. Alright, so see, it's still cute. You won't even, you know, really be able to tell. Alright, so I'm just going to peel the back off of this. And I am going to add a little extra tape here on this piece just to help it hold because this piece is kind of small. And I'm just using my ATG here. And I'm also going to use my um, art glitter glue. So now I'm just going to take my glue, add right on top. Alright, you see I'm adding a good amount of glue on here because I do want it to stick very well. Alright, now I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to cover it up. Alright, and I'm just going to press it down all over okay I'm gonna take my bone folder and make sure it gets glued down all the way on all of the edges see ta-da now I have my magnet so now it closes all right but I want a handle on here okay so I'm just gonna open this up all right and now I have my um, hole punch here I'm gonna use the larger side and I already have it set at three quarters 
So I'm just going to eyeball it. All right, punch my hole. All right, I'm going to turn it around. Do the same thing. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. Okay. Now, this one didn't punch out all too well. I have just a small piece here. So I'm just going to take my pokey tool and dig that out. All right, now the way I'm going to do mine is I'm going to take this ribbon, the um, lace here that came with it, and I'm just going to feed it through. All right, let me show y'all a tip. You can buy these, well, all right, let me find some more here. Okay, what I'm going to use to feed my lace through these little holes is these are little dental floss um, things. If you have braces, this is how you floss your teeth. So these are actually just little flossing things for braces. All right, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but I picked mine up at Walmart and they're over in the toothpaste um, section where the toothpaste, toothbrush, and floss is. That's where these are. And I think they were a dollar, maybe two dollars, but they're not very expensive. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my lace, run it through the hole, just like I'm threading a needle. All right, then I'm going to take it, go through this hole, pull it through. All right, I'm just going to pull me some through here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to run it back through this hole. So I'm just going to feed it through that little hole there. And run it right back through. See? Quick and easy. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten this lace out here. Okay, so now my lace looks like this. All right, if you don't like the way these holes look, which right now I'm really not liking it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this lace out. And I'm going to use some of these eyelets. All right, and I have these right here. They have little flowers on them. And I think I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. It may have been at Joann's. But see, they're just little flower eyelets. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them on this side. That's my decorative side here. I'm just going to place them in the holes. All right, I'm going to take my chopper here. It's already set. I'm just going to take it, press it together. Yep, it worked perfectly. All right. I'm just going to take it, place it on, press it together. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to do my lace back through my little holes again. All right. So I'm just going to thread my little needle here. And y'all, if you don't have eyelets, don't worry about it. It'll still be cute. All right, so I'm just going to take it and pull my lace through. All right, thread my little floss piece here, just like a needle. Okay. Now, I'm going to straighten up this lace. All right, and see, that's going to be cute on the inside. You know, no big deal. All right, now, I'm just going to tie mine in a bow. I'm just going to take my lace here, and I want a good amount, you know, so I have a good amount here. And one thing, too, y'all, you can, one good thing about having a bow is whoever you give it to, they can always adjust the bow um, or the little lace here to make it however, whatever length they want it. All right, so now I'm just going to trim this off. All right, I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to tie a bow. And see here, y'all, I have like a lot of ribbon here. You know, I left it pretty long, so I just want my little handle to be about like that. Okay, so I'm just going to take and tie me a bow here. And it is still going to be plenty where you can trim some off. 
or you can you know adjust your bow and make it as large or small as you want to all right see here I can just pull it out some and make it like a smaller bow all right if I want it larger I just pull it and make it larger and I have enough here to where I can actually make an, another bow so I can double it up just tie me another one here see now I have a double bow and that's it y'all so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to add my design paper I have my magnet on so it is going to stay closed and now I have my little handle so how cute super super cute photos on the go um, I want to tell you too something about this paper pad and if I have enough of paper left over I'm going to make another one of these but I'm going to use the recipe side of these um, of these papers see how this right here this would be perfect for recipes um, for a recipe album the mushrooms you can have for a recipe album this um, paper right here look how cute that is that is perfect for recipes all right and y'all see this is a really really pretty paper pad so you have you know a lot of choices see this one that's my favorite um, but this would be perfect for recipes so if you want to make this a recipe album this can be your recipes on the go you know maybe you go to a um, cookie exchange party maybe you're going to a tea party um, any kind of little you know get together that you're going to this would be super super cute to take and you know as a gift you know you're given to the host or the host can give to each of you so I hope you all enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you think I hope everyone has a wonderful day this is a country craft creations craftology box project kit and this is the kit for January and this is the our house paper pad all right I hope everyone has a wonderful day thanks so much for watching bye